In this lesson, we're going to take a look at circles and two measurements that we uh, perform with circles, and that is uh, measuring the circumference and measuring the area. So first of all, circumference is simply uh, the perimeter of the circle, right, or the distance around the circle. All right. Now there's two different um, things to look for when you're given a circle. Sometimes you might be given the diameter of the circle, and the diameter is just um, the distance from a point on the circle to its opposite point on the other side. So this dashed line here uh, gives me the diameter of this circle. And then the radius is exactly half of that. Right? So a diameter is just two radii. And so let me just write that down here. Diameter is exactly equal to two radii. All right. So depending on what uh, measurement you're given, the diameter or the radius, will determine which formula you're going to use. So you can either use the formula that is the circumference equals pi, the symbol is called pi, times diameter. Or uh, you can use circumference equals 2 times pi times radius. Okay, and they, they both give you the circumference, and it just depends on whether you have the diameter or have the circumference that will determine which one of those you use. Now, what is this, this pi symbol all about? Pi is a number. Um, now, it's a number that uh, is a decimal number that goes on forever and ever, never repeats itself, never ends. Um, but what we will do is when we want to use pi, we will use its approximation of 3.14. That's not exactly what pi is equal to, but um, it's, it's um, rounded to the nearest hundredth place. Okay, And so um, basically what pi is, is it was discovered that any time you have a diameter of a circle, all you have to do is multiply it by this number pi and that will give you the circumference. And it works no matter how uh, large or small the circle is. So this pi is a constant that will always give us its circumference when we multiply it by the diameter or when we multiply it by 2 and the radius. Okay. Now for the area of a circle, we're only given one formula and that is pi r squared. So area equals pi r squared and so we need the radius for that. So if you're ever given the diameter instead of the radius you need to understand that you'll have to cut that in half first before you can apply this formula. So in this example here find the circumference and area of this circle give an exact answer and an approximate answer. Okay, and we'll talk about the nature of you know exact versus approximate as we do this example. But let's start with circumference. Now we have two different options for what formula to use. But notice they give us the diameter of this circle. So I think it makes the most sense to use that first formula of circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So for us, that is pi times 10. Now since this is a distance around a circle, that's going to be measured in feet. Okay, So um, pi times 10, our exact answer, is going to be the answer where we just leave pi as a symbol. So um, typically um, we like to put our number before any kind of symbol like pi. So what I'll write is 10 pi feet. So if a question asks you to give the exact answer, then you'd leave pi as this symbol. You don't use 3.14, you just leave it as pi and say 10 pi feet. Now to get the approximate, we're going to actually substitute 3.14 in there. Okay, so we understand that we multiply 10 and pi to get the circumference. So what we'll do here is we'll take 3.14 times 10. And of course that gives me 31.4. So our approximate answer 
is going to be 31.4 feet. Okay, so this all stems from the fact that pi is not exactly equal to 3.14. So this symbol pi is the exact version of what uh, that number is and 3.14 is the approximate version. So that's how you can remember how to do the exact and how to do the approximate answer for a circumference is if it's exact it better still have pi in there. If it's approximate you put 3.14 in and multiply. All right. Now let's look at the area. So remember area we have to use the radius in order to apply that uh, formula up there. So if our diameter is equal to 10 feet, then of course our radius is exactly half of that. It's five feet. All right, so we'll go ahead and use our formula. Area equals pi r squared, but that's pi times five squared. And we can go ahead and square our five here. That's pi times 25. So our exact answer for area is 25 pi, but since it's an area, we're not gonna just measure in feet, we're measuring in square feet. And then our approximate we get by going ahead and taking 3.14 for pi, multiplying that by 25, And let's see, we've got 1570 as a first line, 6280 as a second line, 6 and of course we put our decimal point right here two places over. And so our approximate answer, where we actually put in 3.14, and uh, and get a numerical answer is 78.5 and that's going to be square feet as well of course.